All right, uh, so this poem is called Serenity is Shared, and it's about, so last summer I worked for the City of Fort Collins Parks Department and watered a lot of bushes really early in the morning, so that's what this is about. <laughs> this truck holds 770 gallons of water. I know this because I filled it just this morning. 6 a.m. is getting colder now. My breath and coffee steam dance among sideways sunbeams near the open lid of my to-go mug. My boots are still cold and squeaky as I walk around the truck, making sure the water tank is closed and the reels of hose won't come loose and the small engine powering this portable garden hose is full of gas. All is well, and off I go. We bounce down the street, water sloshing, brakes squealing, NPR fighting with the radio preacher and static. I just want one of these other drivers to notice me to tear their face out of their screen, to look up and go, man, what the fuck's that guy doing with all that water? <laughs> I know they can't though. Owing to the white paint, the orange beacon, the city logo on the door, I am invisible. And good thing too. Because my job this morning is to drive this big ass truck into this small ass park and completely obliterate the single sliver of silence the surrounding apartments receive. That magical moment in between the late night arguments and the early morning baby bawling dies when I park the truck and start the pump. Serenity for me is small engine exhaust, a cup of coffee and a garden hose. And maybe the price is a few pissed off parents and bawling babies, but I am invisible. So the tombstone of silence is 14 well-watered bushes. Thanks.